Okay, I'm going to try to redeem myself from my last landing at Lee Summit Airport. I went live yesterday. And I did a pretty lousy job. bringing this thing in, I bounced it in, so I want to try to redeem myself. Let's see if I lock that heading hold. I did. Well, it looks like I didn't. Now, well, let's see if we get a lot. Yes, we did. So we're a little ways out, about four and a half minutes. And we're going to start bringing her down about 400 feet per minute till we get down to about Well, we're at 1,500 feet. We'll bring it down to about 1,000 feet. And we're going to have to correct a little bit our heading here. And 1,300 feet. some straight and level flight here. And I can see the airport over there about 10 o'clock. Start bringing it around here. Try to get a nice straight run at the approach. Still descending here. Let's bring that nose up just a little bit.
There's our airport. Right above the dash there at 12 o'clock. Straight ahead. Straight on. Let's see, our airspeed still looks good. Let's give it a notch of flaps. We're going to have to compensate with a little down elevator. Try to, that's a due north runway. I want to try to set myself up to where I'm flying straight onto it. And here we go. A little throttle back. Speed's looking good. Bring that throttle back some more. Looks like we're right straight on with it. Now I did it again. Too much up. Too much up. Too much up. Let's see if we can keep this thing too touchy on that elevator. See if we can set this down nice and easy. Well, I don't know. I think that might have been better than last time. We'll do a playback and see. Ah, I missed my turn off there, but I think we got another one up here. Practice my taxiing as well. We'll just bring it over here. Park it. I got off in the rough or something. This is where I wanted to be because we're going to need fuel. So there you go. Now let me do some playback here. Look at my little cheat sheet. And right here. Okay. Here's our exterior view of the plane where we can actually see how well I set it down. I still was having a little, being a little too touchy right there. Look at that with that elevator. Pulled back on it too soon, but I realized what I did. Still had air speed up, so I didn't drop out of the sky. I finally got it right, right about there. And there's your touchdown. So I'm going to call that a darn good successful landing. So. There you go, I redeemed myself in the Cessna 172 N17 to Sierra Papa at Lee Summit Airport, Lee Summit, Missouri. 
uh, doing a little practice flying. And I will say this too, I'm flying here without the VR headset. I do find it's easier to land with the VR headset on, but it's harder to do a good recording just now for me. I've got to make some tweaks and uh, get that worked out. But uh, right now, this is just flying on the uh, main screen without VR. Uh, and it's a little tougher. It seems like when you're in virtual reality, you kind of get the feeling of where you're at in proportion to the runway when you're coming in. So, But what the heck, there we go. A successful landing in the Cessna, Lee Summit Airport. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.